I was sitting in front of the computer, smelled my morning coffee, and heard, you've got mail. I swiftly went into my email inbox, and there it was. A message that changed my life. It said, you've got your first online sale. I was over the moon because in that moment I realized if I can make one sale, I can make another one. I can make 10, 100, 1000 sales. The sky is the limit. If you are still on the fence of starting your own business, maybe you won't be by the end of this episode. Hello and welcome to my podcast, Become. My name is Sabine Quinberg and I am your host. The content will inspire you to reach your aspirations and become the best version of yourself. I feature interviews with successful individuals from various industries delving into their personal and professional journey, how they overcame adversities and the strategies they used to achieve their goals. We have to become the person we are meant to be first, so we can live the life we are destined to live. That also means we must overcome challenges and work through difficult times to learn, grow and become the next, more fabulous version of ourselves. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's get on this journey together. Hi, Sabine here, and I'm so glad that you tuned in. In today's episode, I'm going to break down what it means to start a business in today's time and what you need to have and consider, and also giving you some tips that makes it so much easier to get started. Let me hop in here real quick to share something with you. Have you ever tried to build your own website, start a newsletter, or build a course and charge for it? Have you ever wanted to make money online but are totally confused by all the different systems you need to have? That's why I use Kajabi. Kajabi is the most popular system for online marketers, coaches, thought leaders, and influencers. Kajabi helps online entrepreneurs take off. Over hundred thousands of us use Kajabi and have made over four billion dollars. Why not be part of it? The best thing is you don't have to figure out tons of systems or crazy technology to start your online business. Kajabi helps you do all of that and it's all on one platform. That's why I use it. It makes my life so much easier and I can even earn money while I'm sleeping. You can build your web pages, blogs, and membership sites. You can create offers, checkout pages, and collect money. You can host your videos. You can start your newsletter list, capture emails, start your marketing funnels, all in one place. It makes it fun and easy with awesome tutorials and support. Since I've joined Kajabi from the beginning, I have a special affiliate link that I would like to share with you, a 30-day free trial. So nothing to lose, but everything to gain. Just go to my link that's in the show notes, sabinekvenberg.com forward slash resources, and we will redirect you to the free trial page. So now let's get back to the show. Let's begin with why today is the perfect time to start your own business. AI changed the world. Jobs are being replaced left and right. Just a few years ago, when AI started, only the multi-million dollar companies were able to afford AI technology, like Google and Tesla and so forth. But today, with the release of open source like chat GPT, now everybody has access to AI technology. That means even the existing businesses that weren't able to use AI technology before are now able to do so. That means 
work time will be cut in half. That means they can let go of employees. Now they have a technology that doesn't need to sleep, that doesn't need to take breaks, that doesn't need to eat. So much more efficient. So with that said, where do you find yourself in this equation? And that's why I'm saying today it is more important than ever to think ahead. And if you do not embrace AI technology, either by opening your own business or learning it so you can incorporate that in the current job that you have, so that you are on top of the food chain. Because if you know how to work the technology, versus someone who doesn't, guess who would be let go first? So this is number one. Why today? Number two, you may now think, okay, Sabina, I get it. I need to do something. But I don't know what and I don't know how. Well, let me put your thoughts at ease. First of all, You want to ask why before you ask the how. Why do you want to start a business? And that is, well, it could be, I'm afraid that I will be let go or I want to have more time or I want to have more income or all of the above. So if you have a really good why, say, I want to make sure that I'm still providing for my family no matter what the economy does to me. That's a very big why. Or I want to be more independent. That's also a very good why. So there's so many big whys. And that is the first question you want to ask. Because when it gets tough, and let me tell you, it will get tough. There is no doubt about it. Every time you start something new, there will be, you know, there will be a learning curve and there will be um, failures and there will be obstacles in your way. It's just life. You have to make sure that you just take it as it is, right? Without uh, any adversities, we, we cannot grow. And believe me, when I first started my own business, I made a lot of mistakes, but back then there was not the knowledge industry that we know now. I didn't have anybody that I could ask. I didn't have anybody that I could follow. The matter of the fact, where I started my business, I was the uh, uh, trailblazer. I was the first one who had a website. I was the first company who collected money online. You see, nowadays, you have so many resources, like this podcast, for example, or free downloads that you can get. But here is one tip. I would look for someone that can guide you, someone who already have been there, someone who did it, someone who can get you where you want to go quicker. That is an investment I would recommend to anybody. And it can be me as your coach or anybody else. I don't care. But get a coach or a mentor because at the end, that investment will pay you back 10 times. You always have to think about the time that you use to figure things out, that also means you won't get income. But if you get to a point where you are ready to get income faster, boom, 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 it will multiply so many more times. So that is my tip number one. Definitely get a mentor or a coach that can assist you with that. But you need to know your why first. Number three is the what. What are you selling? Knowledge, a product. What is your skill? What is the knowledge that you have? What is your experience? 
and you decide on that first. And here's a little tip that I would give you. Sometimes, especially for us creators that wear so many hats and know so many things, it can be overwhelming to pick the one thing. And again, I'm speaking from experience, because when I made the shift totally to teach only online, I could teach so many things from the time I was an actress, from the time I was a director, from the time I was teaching, acting, singing, dancing, getting people in front of agents, and all the business skills that I learned throughout my time as business owner, having my performing arts school. But when you have so many things and you're a creator and say, oh, oh, I could do this and oh, yeah, I could do that. What happens is you are diffusing yourself and you do not focus on only one thing. You do a little bit on this side and then you do a little bit on that topic and maybe you have another third topic that you could talk about. And people also get confused. Who is she? Who is he? What does he do? She is an expert in what? So first, what you want to decide is the what. What do you want to teach? What do you want to share? So pick your topic, the knowledge that you have, the skills that you have, And if you have several, go with your gut. Go with that gut feeling that says, "Mm, this is what I would enjoy most. Don't think about, oh, I don't know if anybody even would need that. Again, go with your gut feeling. Say, this is what brings me the most joy. Because at the end, as an entrepreneur, yes, we are doing this to serve others. Yes, we are doing this to create income, but at the same time, we are doing it for us as well, for us bringing the joy into our life. So don't forget that. So that's the what. Number four, where. Where do you conduct your business? Most people now do it online. Even if you have a brick and mortar business. So if you decide, I want to open up a gym or a performing arts school or a dance studio, there is a physical location. And that was with my studio as well. We had a physical location, but we also were present online. I had a platform where I had my website, but also for people giving people the opportunity to enroll and buy online without them coming into the physical location. With that said, you need to know where to house your online presence. And I do it on Kajabi, no matter if I have a physical location or just my online business. And why am I using Kajabi? Because I got everything under one roof. I can build the website. I can have my courses there. I can have my podcast there. I can have a blog there. I can have my coaching program there. I can have my about page. I can collect money. There are so many things that I can do. And I have my CRM, my customer relation management, where I can collect emails, where I can send out emails. This is what you want to look for when you start your business so that you don't have so many different login information and then you have to connect that account with this and then you have a Zapier that connects this. So I just want to make it easy and Kajabi is for me one of the easiest platforms. Even if you don't have much um, technical abilities, it is very easy to use because everything is Uh, with templates. You just fill in your information, literally. So that's one of the platforms that I use. And you can, of course, use anything you want. But if you are interested to check that out, I do have a special affiliate link where I can give you actually a 30-day free trial. And number five is 
who. Who are you going to work with? Are you a solo show? Do you have a partner or several partners? And who is going to be your mentor or coach who will lead you into the right direction, who will help you with the right resources and teach you what you need to, to know and do so you can get where you want to go faster? You really want to consider that. The who. Who are you working together with? Who can help you? That makes it easier. Who can be the one that you can bounce off ideas or just simply, if you get stuck, ask the right questions. And with that said, and you are still listening at this point, I want to offer you a free strategy session. The link is in the show note. You simply go and schedule your free coaching session with me. No matter if we end up working together or not, I will be able to already guide you in the right direction. So you will get something out of it, no matter what you do in the future, but you can bounce off some ideas. Now, let's recap. We have our five W's, starting out with when. When is a good time to start your business? Now, now, now. Really take advantage of the AI technology and most importantly, think ahead. Time is running out. So really consider starting your business now. And again, it doesn't have to be that you are quitting your job tomorrow and then figure everything out. No, no, no. You can even start as a side hustle. But begin. Number two, why? You need to know your why. Because your why is the driving force. Why you are doing something. Because as I mentioned earlier, it will get tough. There will be times where you question yourself. Oh, can I really do it? You'll doubt yourself. Make sure you have your why. Yes, I can do it. Because I don't want to be left behind I will figure it out. And when you have that why, because I want to provide for my family. I want to be more independent. I want to travel. I want to have them, the income. That will help you work through those tough times. Number three, what? What is it that you're going to sell? Because there is an exchange of value. Value for money, money for value, right? So what is it? that you want to put onto the marketplace. Your knowledge, you want to create a course, you have a physical product, whatever it is, decide on the what. Number four is where. Where do you want to sell it? Is it a physical location? If it's just online or if it's both? Online, no matter what, you have to have an online presence. So if you are in the knowledge industry and you want to share your knowledge or skills, you can do this either creating a course, creating a membership, creating a, um, like a live event, which is also, by the way, a hybrid. And I do that too. I have my online course, my membership, my coaching program, but I also do live events, which is an in-person event. I don't need to build a um, location for that. I can just rent a location. But that's important for you to understand all the different nuances. But most importantly, you need to find a good platform like Kajabi, that handles everything under one roof to make it easy for you. And the last point that we discussed was who? Are you going to be a solopreneur? Do you work with other people building that business? And then who are you going to have as your mentor and coach? 
because it is very, very important that you have help along the way, especially when you are a solopreneur. This can be very, very lonely. So I definitely would recommend that you network with other entrepreneurs, but find someone who can guide you in the right direction. A coach is there for you to get where you want to go faster, to bounce off something. And most importantly, when you get stuck or you feel you are all by yourself and everything is overwhelming, a coach and mentor can really help you pick you back up give you something to grab on and to run with. And that can be the difference between giving up or succeeding. I know you want to succeed. You want to become your next greater self because this is what this podcast is all about. It's about growth. It's about getting through the stages that we sometimes are in that metamorphosis stage. And maybe you are there right now. It's like, what should I do? I, I really don't want to continue in this job. And I, I want to start my own business, but I'm not quite sure yet how and if I should do it. It's okay. Sometimes we just need to take some time and let it percolate, so to speak. But most importantly is you now know those five steps that you need to think about. And with these five steps, it makes it easier to make the decisions. And again, of course, if you really want to start, then start by scheduling your call right now. All right, my friend, this was my episode what are you waiting for? Grab all the resources. You can always go to my website, sabinekvenberg.com forward slash resources. I always have different things there, something for free, something you can purchase, but no matter what, you will most likely find what you're looking for if you want to start your own business. If you enjoyed today's episode, I just ask you to please go to the web page or wherever you listen to your podcast and give us a five-star rating. And if you have a minute to spare, I appreciate a review as well. Thank you so much for listening and I'm cheering for you. I know you can do it if you really want to make a difference in your life, in your loved one's life, and your why is big enough, you can do whatever you want. Think bold, act smart, and change the world.